let's try some keto biscuits, shall we? I've never made keto biscuits, so we're gonna try and see how it turns out. Hopefully it's not an epic fail, but uh, I am really excited about it. So let's go down the counter. Okay, got my Italian mini on today. And she says, ciao bella. Okay, in my mixing bowl, I am gonna put, oh, hold on a second. These are not just, sorry for that, that was really fast. These are not just biscuits. We're gonna make like that seafood restaurant that serves biscuits, we're gonna do those, okay? So I've got some Old Bay and some garlic and some cheddar cheese and some chives. So we're gonna make some really yummy biscuits, okay? Back down to the counter. There we go. I got my oven preheated at 450, okay? So I got a cup and two cups of almond flour going in. We're gonna just stir that around really good. Break up our lumps. Then we're gonna get some baking powder. There we go, baking powder. And we're gonna do two tablespoons. <laughs> well, let's, let's restart this video. No, I won't start the video over. We'll just dry off our tablespoon. Okay, we're gonna do one and a pinch of baking powder, okay? So one tablespoon and a pinch. Okay, so that's about a half a teaspoon. Okay, and then we're going to, I'm using the Weber roasted garlic and herb. And I'm gonna do a heaping half a teaspoon of that. And I've also got it in some melted butter for after when they come out of the oven, right? And then I'm gonna do not quite a half a teaspoon of Old Bay. Yes, I use a lot of Old Bay, so I get mine at Costco. Oh, it smells so good. And then about a fourth of a teaspoon of garlic salt because that's gonna be your salt in your biscuit as well, okay? And we're gonna stir that, get it all incorporated. I'm gonna stick some pepper in here. You all know how I feel about pepper. All righty. Oh, let's see if I can get it open. Okay, about a quarter of a teaspoon of pepper. Okay, get that all, oh, those are my dry ingredients. I've also got a quarter of a cup of chives that I've chopped up really nice and fine. I'm gonna stir that in there and incorporate it. And then what we're gonna use today is we're gonna use the quarter cup scoop. So I've got that out. All right. So now we're gonna add our wet ingredients together. So I have a half a cup of melted butter. I'm gonna get all of that out of there. And I've poured that into two scrambled eggs and two tablespoons of sour cream. Okay, and that's our wet. And then I also have a half a cup of cheddar cheese that I've grated. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and pour in our wet. And our cheddar cheese. And if you heard that beep back there, that is our oven preheated to 450. Look at how simple that was. No fat head dough here. These are actual, like making flour biscuits using almond flour. Nice and cheesy. I may have gone overboard from a half a cup of cheddar cheese, but 
Hopefully it won't ruin my biscuits. <laughs> right? I'm looking for a really good consistency. So I'm just putting a pinch more. Because I use extra, no, I use jumbo eggs and not just large, which most recipes call for. So I'm just going to put in, that's a better consistency that I'm looking for. Um, uh, just a little bit more arm, almond flour. You know, you know what, what biscuit dough should look like and that's what we're going for. Okay, look at that, looks great. So I'm gonna take my scoop. Um, I got my scoop from Pampered Chef. Level it off and scoop it on my stone. This is my Pampered Chef stone. And these are gonna puff up a little bit in the oven. So just a little space. And these are gonna cook for about 10 to 13 minutes. Then we're gonna do the, I put some more seasoning that I put in the biscuits. I put some of that in a little melted butter and we're going to um, just brush them with the melted butter, seasoned melted butter at the end when we pull them out of the oven. And then they'll be ready to eat. This is making really nice batch. This is fabulous. Oh, I can't wait for you to try this. I can't wait to try this. These are some of my favorite biscuits. You know, my mother-in-law, the only time she got to go to that seafood restaurant was on her birthday or for their anniversary. And uh, my father-in-law was not a big fan of seafood. And so every week when they would go out for their date nights, they would usually go to a salad bar, a soup and salad bar. And so she loves these biscuits too. So I'm wondering if this recipe if she would like this recipe because it's just so much better for you than putting all that GMO grain in your body. And if you have celiac, you know, that's gonna make you feel sick on top of it. So this is a way to have your biscuit back. Look at that. We have one more. Where are we gonna put it? Put these just over there a little bit. There we go, look at that. That is gorgeous. We've got another little knob here. We'll just stick it right there. All right, we're gonna stick these in the oven. 450, let's see, get you back up here. 450 for 10 to 12 minutes. You know what? I think they're ready. Let's check them and see if they're ready, okay? Oh, they look gorgeous, don't they? All right. So we're going to finish these. I've just got two tablespoons of melted butter. And I put some more spices that I put in the biscuit itself um, in the butter. Okay. So now what you can do if you don't have a paintbrush is just drizzle, okay? But I have a paintbrush, a pastry brush, and I'm gonna get some of those herbs on there, okay? And I'm just gonna brush the tops just like they do at that restaurant. Look at that. Almost. 
they are so oh they smell so good that that uh old bay that's the word i was thinking thinking of i couldn't get to come out of my mouth that old bay seasoning oh i just love it and that smells so good oh in the keto recipes in uh in one of my videos on YouTube, Isn't Life Yummy, and you'll find it on Isn't Life Yummy Facebook page, are those salmon cakes. Oh my goodness, you put these biscuits with the salmon cakes, I bet, oh, that would be so yummy. So here they are again, all nice and buttered. And uh, let's pop one off so you can see it. Okay, if you want them more dome shaped, more round, um, see how that's a little flat? If you want it to be puffier, omit the sour cream and bake them at 350 for 20 to 24 minutes. And I do believe you will get a more puffy, puffy biscuit. But I hope you like these, I hope you try them. And let me know if you do, and just go hit that subscribe button on my YouTube channel and share this on Facebook. I hope you have a fabulous dinner tonight with your biscuits and we're gonna have ham and uh, mashed potatoes with cheddar cheese, but they're not mashed potatoes, they're mashed cauliflower. And have a great night. Talk to you later, bye-bye.